Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here and welcome back to another Division video. And in this video, I want to speak quickly about all of the five new gear sets coming in the 1.3 Underground update that drops tomorrow if you're on Xbox One and PC. And of course, August the 2nd if you are on PS4. There is of course a base 1.3 update that comes for everyone. And of course, it'll be going on PS4 a little bit later than tomorrow because we've had a few issues there aiming for either later in the week or next Tuesday. But regardless... There's a base 1.3 update, and then for anyone that's got the season pass or has purchased the new DLC, there is of course the overarching underground update too. The underground update includes four new gear sets, and the base 1.3 update includes an additional gear set, bringing the total to five, but also it means if you're not buying the DLC, you do still get access to one new gear set. And some of these you would have seen in the gameplay I brought to you guys at E3, However, one of the gear sets that I showed you has been removed and replaced with another one. And of course, we also didn't get a look at the fifth gear set that just comes with the 1.3 update. So in this video, we're going to go through all five of those, a quick summary of all of their bonuses and their talents, and of course, what they will be used for. So if you do enjoy this, then a like would be super appreciated. And of course, don't forget to leave a comment down below. Now, let's start with one of the new sets, and this is also the set that comes with the base 1.3 update. So again, as a recap, this will be available to everyone, even if you don't buy the DLC, once you download the 1.3 update that goes live tomorrow. The set is called the Alpha Bridge set, and the two piece on this one gives you plus two medkit capacity, which is really cool because of course, up until now, if anyone did want to have more medkits, you would of course have to throw on one of the special backpacks. But now simply by putting on two pieces, you can actually have plus two medkits, which will of course bring the total up to seven. On top of that, your set three bonus is plus 100% health regeneration, which is gonna be very, very useful in certain situations. So definitely something that people might wanna use if they are, say, solo players. This could actually be a great solo set if you're running around in the dark zone. You'll, of course, have more healing potential with more medkits and, of course, more regeneration, which will be really, really nice. And the four-piece set bonus is called Alpha Bridge. And this one makes it so that if your primary and your secondary weapon are of the same category, they both gain all of the unique active talents. So let me basically explain that. What that means is if you have an SMG in your primary slot, an SMG in your secondary slot, or two assault rifles equipped, two marksman rifles equipped, two shotguns or two LMGs, basically two of the same type of weapon in your primary and secondary slot, the weapon you are using will then gain all of the active talents from both of those weapons. So in this example, let's say I have an SMG with deadly, brutal, and responsive. And I have a second SMG with, I don't know, let's say Vicious, Ferocious, and Balanced. Just making it up here, but for the purposes of this, that is what I've got. If I then have those two equipped and I've got them all unlocked, the SMG that I'm currently using will actually be able to benefit from all of those talents. So in essence, you have an SMG with six weapon talents as opposed to three. Now do bear in mind this only applies to active talents. So if you haven't got the right attribute distribution to unlock some of those, it will not apply. But... If you have them all unlocked and you've equipped two of the same category of weapon, then whichever one you're using will benefit from all of those talents, which is really, really cool. As I said, this does have the potential to be useful for solo players because you have the previously mentioned healing capacity, the med kits, and of course, also the extended weapon talents. That means you could even go as far as to, say, throw on some damage stuff like brutal, deadly, responsive, and you could also throw on some weapon talents that you might not necessarily normally choose, but maybe some of the sort of health on kill ones. So you also have additional health regeneration below, or of course, your damage options as well. Either way, that's the Alpha Bridge set. Then moving over to the other new one, the Deadeye set. This is also another really interesting, pretty cool sounding set. Basically, your two-piece set bonus is plus 20% marksman rifle critical hit damage. Your three-piece bonus is plus 40% initial bullet stability. And your four-piece unique talent is Deadeye. And that basically makes it so that while you are not scoped in, your critical chance on marksman rifles is increased to 100%. But the headshot damage bonus is removed. So in other words, what that means is, if you are, say, shouldering but not aiming down the sights, i.e. not looking through the scope, you will then have 100% critical hit chance. So every single shot will be a guaranteed crit, but you won't have the headshot damage bonus modifier. So in other words, you guys know that if you shoot someone in the head, it does more damage than if you shoot them in the body. And of course, if you land a headshot crit, it does more than a body shot crit. This will remove that effect. But what it does mean is because you've got 100% guaranteed crit chance, it now means that, say, from a distance, you could then just spam shots in their chest instead. So you wouldn't have to worry about hitting a slightly tighter target, i.e. the head. You instead just spam shots on the chest, you will do a 100% guaranteed critical hit chance, which means of course you're doing the crit body damage, but given that you have that reliably every single time, 
you will most likely, of course, I'll need to kind of like look at some numbers and actually test it out myself to work out whether this actually happens, but you'll most likely do more damage given your ability to more reliably crit. Really cool set, definitely something that I want to test out myself, definitely something I want to do some experimenting with, but it does have some interesting potential. But remember, that only applies to if you are shouldering with it. If you then zoom down the scope, then of course the weapon will behave as normal. That means you'd then be able to get the headshot damage multiplier, the crit damage multiplier, if you were to get a crit. Now, as for the other three sets, these ones you've actually seen before, I have shown you in my E3 video, but I'm going to quickly recap them just in case you guys haven't seen it. First up, you have the blind set, where your two-piece set bonus is plus 20% pulse critical hit damage. Your three-piece set bonus is plus 100% blind slash death resistance. So in other words, if someone were to try and flashbang you, you would have 100% resistance to that. And your four-piece set bonus is that when you kill a target, it creates a flashbang-like effect at your position. As for the Reclaimer set, this is the kind of support set. Your two-piece set bonus is plus 100% support station healing. Your three-piece set bonus is plus 50% consumable duration. And your four-piece unique talent Reclaimer makes it so that consumables and special ammo used now apply to your entire group and are not consumed upon use. In other words, you have infinite consumables and you can then basically run around and be the buff bot. And finally, the last set is, of course, the Firecrest one. And for this, your two-piece set bonus is plus three incendiary bullet capacity. Your three-piece set bonus is plus 100% reload speed. And finally, the four-piece set bonus is Firecrest, where killing a burning target grants incendiary bullets for 10 seconds. So, those are the five new gear sets coming to the update. Again, as a quick reminder, the Alpha Bridge set is the one that comes with the base 1.3 update. This will be available for everyone once you install the 1.3 update. And the other four, the Blind, Deadeye, Reclaimer and Firecrest sets come with the Underground update. So for that, you'll need the Season Pass or the Underground update and then you can get those. And that's it. That is everything you need to know about the gear set. As always, once I do actually obtain them in game tomorrow and starting from there, I will have detailed videos showing you guys exactly how they work. But for the time being, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. And thank you very much for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.